Hello, guys. Hi. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited to be back on this Thursday. Yes, and you guys, you know I love doing Thursdays because what does that mean? Mm -hmm. We're one day closer to the weekend and I'm excited to be here. Thank you guys for tuning in. Oh my God, I hope you guys' week has been great. I hope it's been as awesome as mine. I've had the busiest week ever. And if you notice, I have a little bit of different background today. I am actually in my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm excited to be home around my good people and my family, y'all. And um, I thank them for letting me use their home as a studio. So shout out to the guys tonight. <laughs> in the background shouting it out y'all <laughs> but i'm so glad to be here so um you know i get on the road and it doesn't stop the show so i am here and um here we go so anyway anyway welcome welcome to uh sweet and real yeah guys we have an awesome show lined up uh for you tonight i just want to thank again the amazing amazing swag her magazine for um, putting us on and sponsoring us. And you guys get a chance, get out there and like uh, Swag Her Magazine on Facebook, uh, follow on Instagram. You guys do not wanna miss the amazing things that are coming up on Swag Her. Don't forget y'all, this show is all about sweet and real. Yeah, I do have a reel coming on tonight because this topic is gonna be amazing and it's gonna be awesome and you're gonna wanna get in on this. Hello to the awesome Allison. Hello, Allison. So glad that you're watching. Hi, beautiful. You're going to want to get in on this topic tonight. Trust me, you're going to want to share this because people are going to want to really talk about what we're about to discuss. OK, guys. But in, for the ones that might be just tuning in, I just wanted to remind you guys what Sweet and Real is. So we're a show that we talk uh, we we uh, tackle different uh, subjects and topics that people mainly do not want to talk about, but we're going to hit it. We hit it on this show. And sometimes we say some things that might offend people or might not offend people, but we just, um, we tackle it from a sweet point and from a real point. And so, yeah, I'm risking. I'm always the sweet point, but the guests, the guests, the hosts that I come on, they always tackle this from a real point. So Anyway, you guys get ready to be amazed tonight as we um, move further into the show. And don't forget to like, share, comment. Just comment, guys, and let us know what you guys are thinking. All right? <laughs> so, all right. So without further ado, I just want to bring on my guest uh, host tonight. Again, you saw him last week. He was so awesome. And I got a lot of people asking me to bring him back. So I didn't hesitate. I just brought him right back the next week. So, Mr. Guy, you want to come on in here? <laughs> Hello, there hello, hello, hello. Hi. So, yeah, you notice that, um, yeah, we're sitting right here together because I am home. So I did not have to, um, you know, get him on the Zoom or the uh, be live or anything. So we're sitting right here with me. So actually, I'm not going to even put his name up here, but I'm Rissa. He's not Rissa. <laughs> <laughs> So let's tackle this. Let's get right into this, guys. We want to know what's going on, people. So um, the Democratic National Convention. Uh, last night kicked off a historic event and um, Kerry Washington was the MC for tonight. They had a lot of great speakers and it was just amazing. And remember, I don't know if y'all caught it, but our forever president, Barack Obama, delivered a very, very powerful speech, guys. He stated that what we do in the next 75 days will echo through generations to come. What do you think, Mr. Guy? Um, I think it's very important that we exercise our right to vote. Um, I, a lot of people in this season, you know, a lot been going on these last few years and they're not satisfied um, with what's going on. And you have some people like, well, you know, what? I'm not going to vote. <laughs> well, if you don't vote, you did vote. Um, so it, it's very important to get out and vote and make sure you um, research the candidates. Of course, we know who to vote for, um, because if we don't get out and, and exercise our right, a lot of the things that's happening in our season that we're not satisfied about, things is going to continue to happen. Um, so your vote do makes a huge difference about who we put in office for the next four years as president of the United States of America. I think you're absolutely right. Let's get out there and let's vote, people. Voting is your power. Remember that. That's your power. So make sure we vote. You know, we cannot emphasize that enough. Mm -hmm. Vote, vote, vote. Please just go vote, guys. This will make a world of a difference of uh, the upcoming election, guys. Um, 
Anything else you wanted to add to that? Um, I'm Vincent out of Memphis, Tennessee. I'm excited to be here. Yeah. Um, we have an exciting topic. I want to give shouts out to Miss Rissa yeah. for having me and to the Facebook world. I hope this be good for you and let's get it going. All right. Now, get topic of the day. How does a king find his queen? Wow. Mm -hmm. What exactly do women mm. want in a man? Mm, so guys, cool. listen, tell me something. We in, in this topic, let me tell you, Vincent. This mm -hmm. topic came because uh there are a lot of women that are looking for men, right? Okay. Um, but let me tell you, believe it or not, there are a lot of men mm -hmm. that are looking for a great woman. And I use the uh term king and queen because the men that are out there, they're not just looking for any woman. They're not, not looking to just go sleep around and do this. Some men are actually looking for a queen. They're looking for a wife. Mm -hmm. They're looking for someone to love. They're looking for someone to make a family with. Mm -hmm. And they're out there looking and it's hard for them. They can't find that. So that's why our topic today is how does a king find his queen? Hello, mm -hmm. Miss Regina Guy. You don't vote, you can't complete. Yes. That's right, Miss Guy. How are you today? Thank you for watching. You're right. Uh -huh. If you don't vote, you have no voice, guys. Hey, mother. <laughs> <laughs> he better have said hey to you, huh? <laughs> so, um, yeah. So back to the topic. Tell us what you think about that, Miss Guy. Um, so how does a king find his queen? So um, one of the first questions that I wanted to ask was, do you think women look for the wrong qualities in a man? Wow. Is that to me? Well, go right ahead. Dive in. <laughs> do I have to? Yeah, um, you do. That's, a, that's a real good question. Mm -hmm. uh, repeat that question one more time. Let me soak that in. Let All me, right. Let me Here we in. go, guys. Y'all can help me, too. Mm -hmm. um, it says... Oh, this guy says, hey, son, hey, Aww, mom. <laughs> mother's love. Hi, mom. <laughs> so she uh, we say, do you think women look for the wrong qualities in a man? Mm. Well, I think. I really believe the biggest thing is, first of all, you have to learn to love yourself. Mm -hmm. And, and and that really start more so with, with spiritual. You got to have a foundation. Um, so you, you really have to figure out who you are and who you are and really be able to love yourself. Because if you love yourself, it's certain things that you wouldn't accept, you know, and I don't really believe that the woman should actually be looking for the man. I believe that the man should actually look for the woman. I agree. I mm -hmm. agree. And that's why this topic is how does a king find his queen? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of time they are looking and they just do not know mm -hmm. how to find her. Mm -hmm. And um, sometimes we can, this may help and give us some pointers or whatever. Mr. Roger R. Brown says, I found my queen in the choir stand. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Well, I love that one, Mr. Brown. So the question was, was he actually going to sing or was he, I'm going to leave that alone. That's my pastor. How you doing, pastor? So, uh, so elaborate on this a little bit, uh, mm -hmm. Miss Pastor Brown. Um, you found your, your queen in the choir stand, but when you found her, were you looking? Um, did you? How did you? Did you know to go there to find her? Um, just or did you just stumble upon her? Just elaborate on it uh, with us a That's little bit good. and let us know. Um, so what are you? What are what in the other than that? What type of information can you tell me? How did you find your queen? Wow, that's that's good. Uh, well, I was at, at school, and um, of course we was in the the lunch line, uh -huh. and um, I was going to get lunch, you know, get my food, and yeah. just so happened she caught my eye. Okay. So you know, I was going to get a burrito. You know those burritos they had in school, good <laughs> the burritos big, big with ones. cheese. Yeah, yeah and the, the beans. And and, 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 <laughs> and as I was going to lunch line, I, I looked over and I saw her, and and she saw me. And before you know it, I, the, the burrito was still in the lunch line and I was trying oh, to get a phone number. It, love at first sight. You, you can call it that. You, you can call it oh. that. So, you know, one conversation led to another and that was over 25 years ago. So, okay. so we, we're still here today. And still strong still 25 strong years 25 later. Oh, years you later. found your queen? Yes, I did. Yes, did I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I yeah. did. Well, um, I, mine wasn't really like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think... 
um, I believe I was uh, in college and mm -hmm. I was cheerleading on a football field mm -hmm. and um, he was making some touchdowns and okay. I was cheering and um, the rest is history. <laughs> okay. 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 So how many years you've been married? 24. 24. Why, why did I know that? Because we've been married the same amount of time. I know, yeah. huh? Yeah, same yeah. amount of time. The same amount of time. All right, Pastor Brown. Pastor Brown says, yes, I was there to sing. We were not looking for each other. Sometimes people would compare the current to the past relationships and end up with a mess. Mm. Mm -hmm. So in other words, uh, for you guys, if you guys are not catching on, he did not go exactly there to uh, find a queen. He went there looking for his, I mean, looking to sing and he stumbled upon love and found his queen. That's good. <laughs> he says also, he says, my queen was also my soulmate. Beautiful. I love that. That is gorgeous. Um, Cause you can't find many people that'll say that. That's so correct. that is a great, I mean, awesome. Just, you know, you're living it. You're living by example. You, you're setting an example. Um, Pastor Brown, and I love that. And that's so sweet. Um, so guys, the next question that we have is, do you think women set too high of a standard for men when they're looking for men? Like uh, sometimes women, they'll say, well, I don't, I'm not dating him because he don't have a good job. Mm -hmm. I don't want to date him because he mm -hmm. only have a GED mm -hmm. or um, I'm not dating him because his social status is you know, I, he doesn't do enough for me. And I had a young lady tell me, um, just talking, I talked to a lot of girls because my girls are young and, and, and no names, but I had a young lady tell me um, that I am looking for a man with a great social status. Wow. He has to have great social status. And, and so I said, what happened to love? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't you just fall in love, mm -hmm. you know, and, and don't get me wrong. I, I know that um, quality of life is important and how you live and um, what you, how are you going to eat? Cause we got to eat, right? That's correct. We got to eat. Correct. That's correct. Um, love fails when we don't eat. If you're hungry, that's correct. you know, you, where's the love when, you, when you're hungry. It so pay the bills. That's right. it, yeah, I don't pay the bills. That's so right. That's right. Uh, I do get that. But at the same time, sometimes I think that, we as women can um, set these standards and that's why we might can't find love. Mm -hmm. So the question is, do you think women set too high of a standards? I do sometimes. You do sometimes. Because a lot of times it's so easy to be caught up on the outside, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you, I mean, it's almost like you're looking at the cover of the book, mm -hmm. but you haven't read the book. So okay. whereas you want a man, I want a man six two. Um, right, right. 205 making six figures yeah um driving in this that and the other right but all at the same time you get all of the glitter but you don't get no substance mm -hmm. you don't have a man that's praying you don't have a man that's tithing you don't have a man that's throwing a football with your son you don't have a man that's cutting your grass you don't have a man that's calling mm -hmm. you beautiful you don't have a man that's holding your hand praying with you at night mm -hmm. so it, it's so easy to get caught up in the outside Mm -hmm. And and like I said, no substance on the inside. So you really have to be careful what you, what you act for. Okay, mm -hmm. that, that's that's wonderful. Mr. Uh, Roger Brown says thirty eight years, thirty eight years strong, Mr. Brown. That's some years that you have, and uh, some blessed years that you have. Wow. Um, let's see, Mr. Molly, <laughs> just <the> eyes. <laughs> Just, <laughs> just the eyes. Mr. Jones says yes, and women sometimes miss a potential mate. Mm. So he agrees with us. He says that um, what you're saying is that you agree that sometimes women look for too much, too mm -hmm. high of a standard, That's and right. they miss their potential mate. Of That's course correct. they do. Be because when you're looking, sometimes you can't, the saying, you can't see the uh, forest, forest for, the, for trees. the trees. That's correct. You know? That's correct. So, of course, they definitely do. We, we definitely agree with that one, Mr. Jones. Mr. Motley says, yes, they can look you dead in the eyes, and they say they real with a wig on. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Well, now, Mr. Molly, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> that was good. That was good. But that was good. I get it. Yeah. I get it, Mr. Molly. Yeah. I get it. Can so, I elaborate on that just yeah, a little bit? Yeah, go right ahead. Go right ahead. You, you know, not 
you know, just being, you know, disrespectful to women. Mm -hmm. But, you, you know, you have a lot of women spend um, hundreds of dollars putting on a costume. Mm -hmm. You know, right not, you know, put on a costume, you know, you know, uh, you know, fake everything, <laughs> but they want a real man. And, and so at the end of the day, I'm not knocking it if you needed to just dress up and things of that nature. But at the end of the day, you have to be able to give. Sometimes you got to give even you got to give as a woman. You got to be able to be a listening ear and you got to really know who you are as a woman. You can't just come with all the costume on and just being something that you're not, mm -hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, when you take all of that off, who are you? You know, okay. so we, you, we need some, you need subs. You, a man want a woman to be able to listen to him, to be able to say, baby, okay, how was your day? Mm -hmm. You know, um, what's on your mind? Um, you know, um, here goes some food to eat or let's pray together, you know, just, you know, so we living in, in 2020 times have changed. Yes. I'm not knocking what work, 10, 15, 20 years ago for our parents, now parents' parents. Mm -hmm. But this is this is 2020 and we need each we need each other. Okay. You know, it's you know, we don't need to give 70% and you give 30% mm -hmm. and you want a hand in marriage, it works both ways. So if I'm gonna give a hundred percent, I want you to give a hundred percent. Okay. Well, let me just say this. Mm -hmm. Um I heard what he said. And mm -hmm. my only thing to that is mm -hmm. I think that women, we as women do that because mm -hmm. men like to see that. They like to see, uh, am I wrong? Do they want to see this woman that's, all that's dressed wrong. up and looking good, whatever. So they're going out and they're doing what they feel they need to do to not only make themselves look good and presentable okay. and happy with their self, but also um, let me catch an eye. Okay. Because if a woman okay. is not fixed up, Mm -hmm. What are they still likely to catch this man? That's good. That's good. What, I that's, mean, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Preach. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. I got a quote I always use: "Drop the mic." You just dropped the mic. Okay, on, so that was, that was good. <laughs> that I'm was just good. I'm just saying. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what Mr. Brown has to say next. Um, he says, "Keep your standards high, but love must." Uh, be the first standard. Mm -hmm. Be careful about being unequally yoked. Ladies and men just don't settle for anything. Now that's dropping the mic. That's it. That's it. We definitely have to keep our standards uh, high. I, I do believe mm -hmm. that. And I love the way you say it. Love must be first mm -hmm. because if there's no love, there's not anything else. You don't when have you, a foundation. That's correct. There's no, yes. Mm -hmm. I strongly believe, and you guys can tell me if y'all don't agree with me, mm -hmm. but I strongly believe when you love someone and there's love there, mm -hmm. you can almost get through anything you need to. Not, that's correct. Now, I, I'm not saying beatings and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's a whole different level. But I mean, tackle problems, mm -hmm. life problems that you mm -hmm. have every day. When there is love, you can get through. All right, baby, we're going to get through paying these bills. We're going to get through. Um, yeah, the children the and, and, mm -hmm. and, and any type of life situation, mm -hmm. you can buckle down, grab each other, hold on to each other, and there you have it. So that's pretty good. That's yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty I, good. I I totally agree yeah. with that. So mm -hmm. yes, and unequally yoke. <laughs> That is a whole nother show, Pastor Brown. So you make sure you go on that website and you dig in to uh, come on this show. And I have to have a, a powwow with you and Mr. Guy. Uh -oh, and we're going to talk uh -oh, about being uh -oh, unequally uh -oh, yoked. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> and remember what he said, just don't settle. That's so it. that sounds like a topic for us. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I love it. Uh, Mr. Edward H. Stevens Jr. says the external mm. is not the measuring tool for men or women. Mm. All right, you, Bishop. You want to elaborate on that one? Oh, um, say that again. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I'm sorry, yeah. uh, Mr. Stevens. I'm a little lost on that one. So elaborate on that one for me, for would you please? And I'm sure I'm going to love what it is. Mm hmm. That's correct. That's basically what he's saying. Yeah. Um, Mr. Brown says it's unfortunate that most ladies don't have positive role models in their lives mm. to use as a positive example of what to look for in a king. Wow. Now that is enough said. Mm -hmm. You are so right. A lot of uh, young ladies do mm -hmm. not have those positive role models in their life. Dads, uncles, grandfathers, whatever. And they don't know what, what to look for. They don't know how they're finding something. That's right. Uh, 
how to find that something that they're looking for in them in a man mm -hmm. to find that king so um let's flip it back around so as the king is looking for his queen mm -hmm. um he might find her but uh just as mr jones said earlier you might miss that potential mate because you do not know what you're looking for that's right he knows what he wants that's right. but you might not know what you want or how to see it staring right there in front of you it's mm -hmm. right in front of you guys and sometimes you miss it that's right you just absolutely miss it so mr taurus boylan says yes hey mr taurus boylan how are you thank you for watching and yes you agree thank you so much mr bishop uh robert mcbee says mm -hmm. there are some things a woman shouldn't show that will only tease men Mm. It's pretty good. <laughs> so some things a woman shouldn't show mm -hmm. and that will only tease a man. And I think you are absolutely mm -hmm. correct. Mm -hmm. I agree with that. You know, sometimes women can do show a little, a little too, too much. much. Yeah. Little too Let's much. leave a little bit to the imagination. That's correct. Yeah. That's so correct. men do like a little bit of imagination. That's right. You That's think? Right. So, That's okay. So a lot of women don't know that. A lot, uh, some, some, especially the younger generation, mm -hmm. they're not knowing that. So if you could talk to the younger generation, your daughter, your That's niece, right. any and all of the young people that might be out there, what would you tell them about leaving a little bit to the imagination? The biggest thing is it's so important to have role models. Mm -hmm. um, and what the role model does is it will not only teach them, but hold them accountable mm -hmm. for when they're out here trying to dress up or put clothes on, they can hold them accountable and say, you know what, um, that skirt is too short, get you something a little longer, and you still can be sexy, you still can be pretty mm -hmm. with a longer dress. You know, even with young men, you know, um, your pants sag and things that nature, you still could be handsome and put on a belt, have a tight line, fresh breath, nails, mm -hmm. your shoes clean, things of that nature. So um, one thing I did love about the older days when you have two or three different generations of families mm -hmm. in one household, Mm -hmm. You know, you saw um, your, your dad or, or your granddad with the with the suit on, with the top hat, with the suspenders. Yes. And, you know, whether they can speak well or not, they look good. So you want to be just like them because that's what you see. You see Big Mama with the, the dress on, with the rollers, you know, her hair roll up nice with her makeup on looking nice. And, mm -hmm. you know, and it was respectable. Right, right. And so in this day and time, it's so many young people look so forward to social media mm -hmm. and they watching everything on social media. So that's their role model. That's their role model. You know, mm -hmm. and, and even you have a lot of households, the parents are not talking to kids. Mm -hmm. They're not holding them accountable. They're not being parents. They're being their friend. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, oh, that's going to they twerking together, you know, I'm just trying to keep it professional, yes. you know, and, and drinking and hanging together, but they need to be parents mm -hmm. and hold them accountable and tell them, okay, go get your haircut. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, start your clothes, mm -hmm. you know, baby, your dress, make it a little bit longer, but that's too much makeup, your lips too shiny. Mm -hmm. So, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's so important you know, well, your, your eyelashes, you know, maybe yeah. that's too long. It's okay to add it, but don't have them flapping all out there. All right, now. All so, right now. so at the end of the day, we need to be, you know, be a little bit more firm, you know, being role models mm -hmm. and, and mentors, mentors because just because sometimes even my child listen to you better than he listened to me. Isn't that the truth? That's you know? the truth. So, mm -hmm. so yeah. that goes back to the village, Yes. you know, the, the village, the circle, Mm -hmm. You know, the accountability partner and all those things makes a big difference on how uh, they're dressing and, and how they come out in the public. Yes, mm -hmm. I, I, I agree with that. Mr. Uh, Brown, Pastor Brown says strong love and strong friendship, friendship. Above all, marry your best friend. That's it. That's nice. That's it. I love it. Uh, Javon Motley says true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Stevens says, yep. So he totally agrees with you when you said that. Mm -hmm. um, Javon Motley says, FYI, I love those blinds. <laughs> Cousin. Oh, Cousin. <laughs> so Mr. Brown says, we all have our views on what we want our partner to look like. Mm -hmm. However, don't all your do don't put all your eggs in one basket. The one who might not fit your description might have been your soulmate. Wow, well, that's good. Yeah. That's yeah. good. That's good, Pastor. Yeah. That's good. So definitely don't that's put good. all your eggs in one basket. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, a lot of people mm -hmm. uh view that with um finances and things like that, mm -hmm. but that's a life thing as that's well. That's correct. 
That's correct. That's a life thing as well. Uh, Miss Guy says, speak the word, son. <laughs> <laughs> Preach. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> we hear you. He is speaking it. All right. So Bishop Robert McGee says, meat uncover will only draw flies. <laughs> okay, Bishop. All right. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. We hear that. Well said. Um, Miss Guy says, be a parent, not a friend. That's correct. Yes. That's correct. I agree with that too. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes we do fall in that trap with today, mm -hmm. with the year that we're in. This is 2020, guys. That's right. And um, uh, the first thing they say is um, well, Blake's mom don't do that. That's correct. Blake's mom let her do that. Mm -hmm. And it's like, well, I'm not her mom, or That's I'm right. not uh this person's mom. That's so correct. and this is what we do in this house. Mm -hmm. So parenting is very, very hard. That's right. In 2020. That's right. Another topic, Miss Miss Guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Definitely another topic. So Mr. Brown says, don't get caught up in the external look for the inner beauty. Looks are going to change. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. That's kind of like what Bishop um, said earlier. That's right. right. That's right. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. They they will definitely change. That's right. Um, so yeah, it's been a um a great topic That's about right. it's a great uh, topic. So what can anybody just tell me something mm -hmm. that I can share with these men that might be listening um, tonight and just give me a, a good pointer on how exactly can a king find his queen? Can you tell me that? <laughs> Why don't we start with you, Mr. Guy? We want to wait on that first. Yeah, <laughs> just gonna throw me out there like that. You want me to? That's why you're here. You know, and I, and but, I got, but you know, once I once yeah. I throw you yeah. out there, mm -hmm. and if you start to drown, I'm gonna reach my hand. I got to come. Got, all right. Well, I'm I'm gonna give you my example. Okay. How I know I found my queen. No. Okay. That's that's a good one. And I can use that one because this is what I live. Okay. So even during a time of my life when I was trying to find myself, mm -hmm. she was always there. Okay. And so she loved me unconditionally. She believed in me. She supported me. She encouraged me. Mm -hmm. And so it was time where I questioned, like, is she still here? You know, so I mean, so to really find a lot of times on the outside, you think you want one thing, but mm -hmm. God sometimes could send you what he wants. It was best for you. Right. And so, you know, so you really you really got to be connected. You got to be connected spiritually just to even encounter that mm -hmm. you can't be out of here and not covered and just find that 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 queen mm -hmm. um that that he created just for you mm -hmm. you know because there you know you might think you need the the, the hair the, the young lady with the long hair and 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 drive the mercedes benz or got the harvard degree or and her mind is on something totally different and everything you're that that she have and what she was created for mm -hmm. is just for you okay. you know and so so my so my testament to myself i i thank god for my queen i thank god that she supported me mm -hmm. she believed me even in times what i didn't believe in myself mm -hmm. you know so so in other words you have to be grounded and covered by god mm -hmm. so he can really direct your path and mm -hmm. order your steps to be able to send you, it could be a thousand women out there, but the one that he wants you to have, you got to be led by him to get them. Because you, you might know, not see that. You one might not see it. For you. you might not see Mr. it. Mr. Boylan says you need to talk, mm -hmm. and that is quite true. You have mm -hmm. to be able to hold a conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, he also says bond. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to bond with that person That's as right. well. And if you can't bond with that person, mm -hmm. then that 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 says a lot. That's correct. If we cannot bond with That's them. Correct. Mr. Brown also says um, a queen will be drawn to a king to kingly qualities. Mm -hmm. Be a king and your queen will arrive. That's correct. We need to end the show That's right good. here. That's, good. <laughs> That's it right there. Pastor Brown just took over. Yes. You, you got to yeah. bring him. We, you, you, he, just, he just took over. Be a king. Yeah. And your queen That's will good. arrive. That so, is good. so let me let me just break this down a little bit. That's mm -hmm. a great topic, um, Pastor. So um, guys, what I'm getting from this, and I want you guys to get the same thing. Um, do what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You do as I an old saying my grandmother says, honey, you do right. So you do what you're supposed to do, follow God. 
follow love, follow the ways. And when you follow God, he will lead you in the right way. So guys, you do what you're supposed to do the way you were raised. Um, get some guidance out there, get some guidance and follow a man of God, follow, follow a positive male role model. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, if you're looking for that queen, I guarantee you, she will come. That's correct. So like he said, um, find kingly your kingly qualities be a king and your queen will arrive christine penn says hi guys <laughs> and she also says let's see it takes a certain woman to bring out to bring the best out in you every person needs a certain person to bring the best in you correct it does it takes a a certain woman to bring out the best in you. That's and right. you have to find that certain woman because the one you think might bring out the best in you mm -hmm. may not. Or like you said earlier, I love it. The one that you think, oh my God, I see her. I got to have her. She is fine. She is hot and mm -hmm. I want her. Well, she might not have your back when you need her to have your back. Right. She might not be that person to encourage you. Right. She might not. I'm not saying that she isn't, mm -hmm. but just take the time and try to um, make sure that this is the right person that you have. Um, Mr. Uh, Bishop says, when a when a man comes to the end of himself, God will show his queen. Mm, that's nice. good. That's Very good. nice. Like I said, this is a whole nother show, Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> um, respect the lady, mm -hmm. as the Brown says. That's correct. I totally agree with that. Yes, guys. This has been a really great topic. It we could go on it and had. on. Um, next thing we know, these 30 minutes have passed by and it, right. it has really been great. Um, guys, thank you guys for listening and talking about this. Um, I'm sorry, one more thing from Pastor. It says, love them like Christ loved the church. Mm -hmm. Willing to give your life for a king honors his queen first. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, sad pastor. Mm -hmm. We love it. Um, if you guys want to keep coming, we'll come back to it. But right now we're going to move on to mind your business. <laughs> Can we mind our business? No, we can't mind <laughs> our business because we are here to talk about a business and it's called Meals for You. You want to talk about that, um, Mr. Guy? Um, meals for You. I'm going to be real quick and I'm going to just say the best food ever soul food yes macaroni and whoa, cheese whoa. What's up? Uh, but, uh, strawberry <laughs> banana pudding green <laughs> oh, okay. no, cornbread well, salmon croquette i tell you what meals for you and you guys should have put a little food in front of us so we could have been like that's tasting correct. this, and you guys that's these correct. people could that have seen correct. our reaction but that the next correct. time we'll definitely have to do that so this is a catering company guys in case you're wondering what meals are you for they're a catering company and a restaurant that's two things in one, guys. Listen to what I'm telling you. A catering company and a restaurant located in Memphis, Tennessee, owned by the one and only Pastor Roger Brown and his lovely daughter, Raquel Brown. That's right. A father and daughter team. Isn't that awesome and beautiful? Who would not want to support that? I, right. I cannot right. wait to get over there. Usually I do have a little samples of whatever, or I know uh, when I talk about mind your business, but tonight I just took it all off of Mr. Guy and he said, this is the business that we need to talk about that tonight. So that's don't correct. forget meals for you guys. They are located in Memphis, Tennessee at 4205 Hex Cross uh, Suite 105. You can find good Southern food and great hospitality guys. They are open Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Saturdays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Did you hear me? You better catch it again. I said Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Just scroll on in, guys. And Saturdays from 10 to 4 p.m. They're closed on Sundays. But... That's because Sundays is the day of the Lord, guys. That's so correct. everybody got to take a day of rest. That's so right. you guys get a chance. Scroll on down. You can also do Grubhub, Uber Eats. Look for them on Facebook. Um, like their page. Simple Meals for You. Follow them on Instagram. Simple Meals for You as well. And um, like I said, Pastor Brown and his beautiful daughter, Raquel A. Brown, don't forget to look for them and they're in Memphis, Tennessee. So anytime, if you're scrolling on by, just stop, give them a look out and I'm sure you're going to love it. Tell us one more time what they're going to get when they get over there. The best food ever. <laughs> the best food Matter ever. Matter of fact, I don't know how long y'all in the city. I'm going to take you there tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you the know best what? Food. I tell you what, when we go there tomorrow, Sweet and Will will go live. So look for us live on the um, wow. on Facebook. We're going to go live. We're going to do a small little interview with them and we're excited. So, um, 
Don't forget to look for them. Um, oh, we already saw that one. Miss Guy says, oh, my God, the best food ever. ever. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right. That's two guys. That's two. <laughs> so we're looking forward to seeing that wonderful food. We're looking forward to tasting it, brother. I can't wait. So, all right, before we go, we got to get leave you guys with a little something that you want, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. I don't know if y'all heard, but I heard this. And um, I just wanted to share it with you guys, but I know you heard it. All right, so we're going to talk about Sweetie Pie's Mr. Tim, James Timothy Norton. He is the son of the reality TV show, Robbie Montgomery. And I don't know if y'all remember her, but she back up saying for um, Ike and Tina Turner. Uh, she was an Ike, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, she branched out and just started her own uh, restaurant. She started cooking or whatever. Anyway, that's how Sweetie Pie's became about. But um, he's 41 years of age, her son, and it looks like he did uh, took a pop policy out like a four hundred and fifty thousand dollar policy mm -hmm. that I'm hearing. And it was uh, I'm hearing burner phones. I'm hearing exotic dancers. I'm hearing all kind of craziness that they're doing that we heard. And um, I don't know if y'all heard, but he's what is it a murder um, he, investigation? Murder. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's a little something that you want. What you what you got to say about that? one? I'm praying for him. Mm -hmm. ah. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying for the family. I hate that. I'm just praying for the family. That's a tough one. Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Mr. Brown says, oh, meals for you catering dot com. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely we'll put that up there, Mr. Brown. And so, um, yeah. So any anything else you wanted to say about that? Um not too much anything but uh but for you you the show was amazing today oh great the show was amazing i appreciate you for having me on thank you so much yeah. um so in closing thoughts guys i just wanted to say that um everything gets uncomfortable sometime for our in closing thoughts and when it's time uh to change uh sometimes that's a part of growth and um, it's a growth process and things will get better. Just be patient. So in other words, sometimes we, we get, uh, upset or we take things to heart or whatever because change, but sometimes change can be good. Change is hard, but change can be good. Right. So remember that if you, as you go through life and sometimes you go through changes or whatever, just remember that it's a part of growth and we just want you guys to, uh, not just take it so hard like that. Um, Christine Penn says, going to have to come down she's going to have to come down and she's going to have to come to uh meals for you also she says that's sad and she was talking about yeah. the uh tim uh, what was his name tim um tim yeah i don't know sweet pie sweet pie, yeah, sweetie sweetie pie. pie. Yeah. Yeah. To tim mm -hmm. um pastor brown says crime of greed crime of greed yeah. Wasn't even worth it. Wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth Definitely it. greedy. Sometimes mm -hmm. we have something, but mm -hmm. we get uh, greedy. We get greedy, mm -hmm. and that's sad. That's very that's sad. That's very yeah. sad. Um, Miss Penn also says, "Catch Women of Significance show on the new Orleans Talk Network." Yes, guys, catch your show. Put it down. Uh, I think it's Tuesdays, if I'm not uh, mistaken. Miss Penn, put it down, and I'll definitely um, say that the the show, the time, and the date that you come on. And um, I'll definitely share that with everyone. But in the meantime, guys, um, I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to uh, like the Awesome Awesome Swag Her magazine on Facebook. Don't forget to follow them on Instagram as well. They have been around for 10 years and they have a lot of wonderful things coming along. Awesome, awesome magazine. And you guys definitely will want to um, like that page and follow them. But also don't forget to follow Sweet and Real on Facebook as well and follow me on Instagram. You can email me at sweet and real and that's the uh, word and spelled out sweet and real 2020 at yahoo.com. If you want to talk about some topics that you want to hear or see on the show, that'll be fine. Email me. We have a website too, www.sweetandreal.com. If you would like to appear on the show, please go on that website, click on the link, appear on the show, pick a date, and it'll come straight to me, and I will get back in touch with you definitely when we can um, schedule you to come on the show. Um, anything else you would like to add, Mr. Guy? I think you covered it all. All right. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Christine Penn says, 
Mondays at seven o'clock. So here we go, guys. You can catch Women of Significance on New Orleans Talk Network, Mondays at seven o'clock. These ladies will give you great entertainment and you will hear some um, some um, awesome topics from them. She says every Monday night at seven and they tape live. So that means you can call in and talk or just comment. Just catch them on Facebook again, New Orleans Talk Network. I will be watching for you, Miss Penn, and um, this coming Monday night, guys. Um, and once again, a big, big thank you to Mr. Guy for coming on and talking it. about this. And thank we love you. the topic. Again, um, next week, we'll be talking about how to keep the uh, sparks flying in your marriage. So that'll be an awesome, great topic next week. And I'm excited because I've been married over 20 years and so have you. So have. we got to um, talk about how we keep these sparks flying. That's correct. That's correct. A lot of people have been asking me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you women doing out there, but we definitely want to hear it. That's right. Men too. So until next time, guys, I'm Rizzo and this is... Vincent Guy. Magic hand, shoe shine. Come Magic see me. Hand. Look me up. Yes. Magic hand, shoe sign. I'm sorry. I got to put this on there before we go. Yep. Love you, son. <laughs> Miss guy. Love you too, mom. <laughs> Next, uh, Miss Penn says, thank you for your support and encouragement. You're welcome, Miss Penn. And thank you so much for yours as well and watching us as well. And she also says, love you guys. We love you as well, Miss Penn. We cannot wait to see your show Monday. And again, I am Rissa, your forever Mrs. Louisiana. And until next time, you guys enjoy your weekend and I will see you next Thursday and we will talk about how to keep that fire burning. Again, thank you to the awesome Swag Her magazine and y'all stay classy out there. Have a good night.